Oh, what's going on guys? It's K Titan here with a brand new video for you guys. But first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, I have something new planned for you guys, and we are going to be checking out some of the hardest challenges in Balloon's Tower Defense 6. So right off the bat, I'm going to start with something a little bit on the easier side. So we'll start off with something along the lines of like, a t I, th I think a 10% uh, win rate should be doable first try. Hopefully, but I mean, you guys know me. I will probably end up finding a way to mess it up. All right, so it looks like we're going to be trying to beat round 40. We have 4,199 cash. So let's go ahead and check out uh, any of the special rules. It looks like Moab health is up to 114%. Regrow rate is maximum. Uh, I think this one should be pretty doable. Uh, first thing that I want to try out here, maybe we go and see what kind of towers we have available. It uh, looks like we don't have the Monkey Buccaneers, so it's not going to be that. Um, we have a Moab Mauler. I mean, it's only 114% Moab, so it shouldn't be that bad, right? So let's try. Let's just try a Moab Mauler right off the bat. We can sell, so we'll do the Moab Mauler into like a glue gunner or something like that, and that should be enough. All right, so here we are. It looks like a. Um, okay, cool. So I should slow this down. So. The Moab Mauler is going to work. Then if we sell this, can we afford a glue gunner in the back? Ooh, that's something I didn't realize. All right, so we have a sniper monkey upgrade to even faster firing. I don't think that'll be enough. Uh, we do have a boomerang monkey upgrade to glaives. Uh, eh, not really feeling that. We have even fa Ooh, we could go for blade maelstrom. All right, cool. So we'll do a Moab Mauler and see if we have enough money for the blade maelstrom. All right, cool. So we can go ahead and speed through this first bit and then pull this back up. Here we go, let's go ahead and sell this. I will throw this in the very back, upgrade to Blade Maelstrom, and then we wait for the ceramic balloons to get close. Uh, the ability should be off of cooldown. I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. I guess that's what I guess that's what I get for not checking like what all towers I had in my disposal and stuff. And I still ended up messing it up. Alright. Um we're good though, because we have plenty of lives left. Cool. Nice. I didn't even realize we had a hundred lives. I could have pro probably leaked way more. But anyways, a good challenge. Let's go ahead and move on to a little bit of a harder one next. All right, so right off the bat, I mean, we have a if you fail or you fail, but if you like this, you win. All right, so this one has a 6% uh, win rate. So let's, just, let's go ahead and make this a little bit harder this time. Looks like we have no monkey knowledge, one life, um, reverse mode. Um, I guess let's go ahead and jump into it and see what kind of uh, work we have to do. So we're on round 100. So that means we need to insta pop the bad, right? We have $60,000, so maybe preemptive with, yeah, so it'll be preemptive, 100%. Uh, maybe not preemptive, so maybe first strike and then see if we, oh, we only have one tower at our disposal and we can't sell, so it needs to be preemptive. All right. Like, what, like, how, like, how are we supposed to do this? We did it! Oh my goodness, I didn't think we would get that done. How, how does that only have a 6% win rate? Whoa, dude, I didn't, I didn't think we'd be able to do that first try, but we did. That's crazy. Let's go. All right, so go ahead and give that a leg. Nice. All right, so let's just go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, so that was a 6% win rate. Um, I guess we can go ahead and make it a little bit harder. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to a 5% win, win rig. So I guess we can go ahead and go down on the list. So we'll do 5 and then 4. I mean, that last one took us like no time at all. So maybe we might be able to do 3 or 4 ch challenges in this one. Alright, so it looks like we have a reverse increased ceramic health. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and jump straight in and see if we can get this done. Alright, so round 76. So regrow. Right off the bat, that's saying to me, uh, monkey village, glue gunner, uh... Do we have ground zero? We do not have ground zero. Let's go ahead and check glue gunner really quick. Uh, we do have a glue storm with corrosive glue, and we also have balloon liquefier. Mm. So let's try glue gunner first. Uh, how many towers can we place down? Is it only one? Uh, max monkey's one. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. I, actually, let's check blade maelstrom too. Ooh, we have blade maelstrom. Actually, let's go ahead and drop this. Go ahead and do this and see if we have enough time to get this off the cooldown. And if we can go ahead and pop all these balloons. Uh, gonna be a little sketchy. Oh, that was really close. But I don't think we get the cooldown fast enough. Mm, let's go ahead and retry that. Uh, see if we upgrade to the fourth tier and then upgrade to the fifth tier. If it'll give us a little bit of a shorter cooldown. So, Blade Maelstrom. Uh, let's 
not it's not it's not looking good for the blade for the blade maelstrom try one more time yeah we, we were just a little bit too far off of that cooldown uh we have icicles with we have absolute zero cold snap refreeze i don't think it's gonna be any of those uh we have more glaives we have perma charge i don't think we're gonna we're gonna be able to get per perma charge off of cooldown that fast uh, we only have one life, but so we can't use Bomb Blitz. Uh, Bloom Crush would cause a massive regrow farm. So definitely not going to do that one. I wonder if we go... We have Energizer. Does Energizer do enough pops to take down a regrow balloon? Or... I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Not even close. Not even close, guys. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and redo this. Um... We have Necromancer. Um, we do have Prince of Darkness, but I don't think Prince of Darkness is going to be able to get his pops up. Uh, we don't have Spirit of the Forest. We have Avatar of Wrath. We have Superstorm. Uh, we have Carpet of Spikes. Would Carpet of Spikes be enough? Ooh, would XXL Trap be enough? Oh, dude, there's so many questions, but we can't sell. So let's go ahead and see if this if this is going to be enough. That easy, guys. It was that easy. The only thing I needed to do was grab the XXL trap. I didn't know if it was actually going to be in the game. And I was kind of worried that because we couldn't sell. But GG is a nice one. I mean, that one didn't take us too long either. I mean, I thought these challenges were supposed to be hard, dudes. Uh, let me see. So, we have a 1% win rate. I mean, man, if we if we jump into the 1% win rate, I think we're going to butt in. It seems like I already tried that one, but I didn't beat it. Uh, do we try the 1% win win rate? Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Alright, so, yo, good luck. <laughs> oh no, we're probably gonna get absolutely destroyed here. Alright, let me see. So we have $80,000, round 76, we need to deal with round 77. Mm, well, I guess right off the bat, let's go ahead and check out... Okay, so we have Blue Trap. Uh, can we sell? Uh, Max Monkey's one, and we can sell. Oh man, I'm absolutely terrible at micro though, so... What if we get a bunch of XXL traps for round 76? Make sure our auto start is turned off. Or not XXL traps, but a bunch of blue traps. And see if we can do it like this. So let's go ahead and upgrade it to blue trap first. And then we'll go ahead and put... Oh, wow, those are so fast. Okay, so definitely not, definitely not going to be able to do that. I, I didn't even see that. Um, We're not going to get detect here. Cooldown off of cooldown. Um... Uh, Total Transformation, Blue Master Alchemist, Perma Brew. Nope, 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 nope. Um, maybe this will be... We have primary expert. We do have primary expertise. Maybe maybe it's primary expertise. Uh, let's see how close we get here. Oh, that was so close. I wonder I wonder if we can ac I actually do this. Um, maybe by positioning our... All right. So we'll do this. So we'll start it and then then upgrade. It's close again. Maybe repositioning our monkey village. Uh, let's bring it down here this time because it seems it seems like our uh, primary X expertise was just a little bit off. Press play, upgrade. Oh no! Uh, let's drop it down just a little bit more. So we'll go here. Uh, we'll go and upgrade it to primary expertise off the rip. Oh, that that one was terrible. Okay. Um, uh, maybe we'll do it this way. Not even close, guys. Dude, we did, we did so good with the first position. And then now it's just, like, not working. So maybe it's gonna, or I need to get this top position a little bit better. So close. Maybe, maybe... We do have Balloon Solver, but I don't think the Balloon Solver is going to be able to hit all of these balloons at once. Alright. Bro, if this if this actually works... I'm so dumb. Alright, um, what's round 77? Uh, we have a Moab Balloon, so we could go Pirate Lord? And then sell Pirate Lord if there's... Yeah, yeah, cool. Alright, cool. So let's, so, so let's go ahead and restart this. We'll go ahead and place our balloon solver back over here. Upgrade that. Go ahead and fast forward this. We're good. Oh, dude, I wonder. This is probably going to be a cooldown thing. Let's let's restart this again. Or, ac or actually, let me just go ahead and check. So Pirate Lord. So Pirate Lord will get his ability off of cooldown fast. So let's wait until some wild balloons are on screen. 
I don't think this should pop the Moab Balloon. And activate. Sell. Upgrade. Dude, I think I think I made this out to be way harder than I needed it to be. Alright, so we do this. And then let's see. Okay, so we have a BFB. Oh, we have multiple BFBs. All right. Just missing one. And we don't have enough money. All right. So, that's what we need to do. But let's see if we can get So what we'll, we'll, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll grab ourselves a glue gunner. We'll upgrade to balloon solver. Play this a little bit slow. Sell and then let's buy a oh, I I ended up upgrading it too much. Uh, I was supposed to just buy a pirate ship. All right, so let's do that again. All right. So there's glue splatter. There's balloon solver. Unless um, unless it's a unless it's a problem with uh, me not being able to pop the ceramic balloons with a different tower that I'm supposed to pop it with. So let's see if we can get this cool this uh, pirate lord cooldown off. I think it might be really close. All right, so that's not gonna work. Maybe I could actually get three Moab balloons. Um, this cooldown is definitely not gonna be off of cooldown, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. Do this. We just need to maximize like how like how many balloons we're sucking up with the pirate with the pirate lord. No! Oh! So close! Ah! I messed it up. Alright, so it looks like we are, we're gonna be able to suck up three with the, the Pirate Lord. Which is gonna end up working out pretty well for us. So let's test this. See if we can manage to get three Moab Balloons on, on the screen at one time. So right before that Moab Balloon is about to leave, we can... Bro. That's all we need to do the entire time. Because we're gonna save so much money and we're, and we're gonna be able to get all... Well, we're going to be able to get a decent amount of Moab Balloons uh, with our Pirate Lord, which is going to save us a bunch of cash. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Ah! Oh, that was so close. I don't want to know how close that was, but that was really close. Alright, so let's just go ahead and wait to see if we have another Moab Balloon that, that pops on the screen. How many of these Moab Balloons do we have to deal with? I'm not gonna have enough money. Right? We have enough for one more. So is it is this the last one? I think I think that was the last one. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. That was like I was like racking my brain because I didn't know how many Moab balloons were actually gonna be popping on the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to see me do more of these challenge videos, please, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I'll see you guys in the next one.